Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. Start spreading the news. New York, New York, the musical is opening tonight, and we're here with the First Nighters. How excited are you to be here tonight for New York, New York? I can't believe that John's melodies are going to be soaring through this. Uh, it's very moving. <laughs> um, and um, he, at his age, you know, um, still to be out there popping them out, you know, um, and New York, New York, I mean, here in New York, you can't beat that. You can't, you can't beat it. And he's the purest form. And Lin Manuel, I mean, they are, they're the purest form of Broadway there is. And why shouldn't they be here? And then there's Fred Ebb. His lyrics are on stage tonight, too. <laughs> I can't, um, I, I can't control myself when I think of Freddie being gone and Freddie being here. Freddie is here tonight. But isn't it wonderful how they live on someone like Fred? I mean, it's a new Broadway musical for Freddie tonight. That's, <laughs> that's exactly right. Freddie is starring tonight and will always be starring as long as New York, New York is running. What a night, my friend, but you have the longest history, one of the longest histories with John Kander, because he's a do stuff for you. Did he play your auditions? He did, Tell me, yeah. He played auditions for me. I would give him like $20, <laughs> and he was thrilled. <laughs> he needed it, and he would play, and I would never get the part, <laughs> ever. And I kind of like thought, it's not going to happen for me. And then along came a little show called Dum 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 Cabaret. And uh, I still feel the same way about him. He's like my great, great older brother. It is opening night, New York, New York. How excited are you to be here tonight? Uh, yeah, I'm really excited. I I'm excited to see the show and excited to see friends and. It's great. It's like family. But this is so amazing because Fred Ebb is no longer with us, but here he has a brand new Broadway opening tonight. Yeah. And that, that's amazing, right? When you think about creating. Yeah, because the shows live forever. Our shows just keep going. Listen, when we're gone, the shows will still be here. Yeah. Giving life to, uh, to the theater and to other people. I am uh, extremely excited. Uh, Susan Stroman show in New York, New York, and uh, Jimmy Borselman is in it. Naomi K. Cook, uh, those are my producer's yeah. buddies, and uh, I, it's such a great idea, I can't wait to see us. Your husband, Clyde Alves, is returning to Broadway, stopping the show in New York, New York. What does tonight mean to you, Robin? It means everything. The last time I got to go to one of Clyde Alves' openings, it was 2015. We had a 10-month-old, he is now nine and a half. So this is pretty spectacular. I have never been more, I, I just said, I'm more excited about this opening than my own opening. Um, I'm just ready to be his number one cheerleader, be New York, New York's number one cheerleader, and just have a great time and, and celebrate Broadway. Because this is Broadway. How excited are you two to be here tonight for New York, New York? Oh my God, oh my God. so excited. We are in fuego. We're really pumped. It's so awesome to be at a new Kander and Epp show. Yeah, we're dying, we're dying. Come on. Yeah. This is all about friends. I'm watching all of you on yes. this huge carpet. I know, Everyone has worked with these people. I just love them. Yeah, I mean, this is sort of, uh, like, this is sort of what New York, for me, when I came to New York, yeah. I dreamed would never happen, and yeah. here I am, it's happening. It's happened and it continues to happen. That's a surprise, it continues to happen. I mean, it's, I mean, all we're thinking of is Freddie. Yep. Of okay. course, that's who we're thinking of, and John, of course, yep. and Lynn, our yep. great friend yep. Lynn. It's just so special. I don't know, Freddie's with us here tonight, and I mean, his songs are up there. I mean, that's thrilling, and we just love him so much and miss him every day. You had the opportunity, of course, working with them on Curtains. Yeah. I mean, favorite memory of working on that show for you, David, as well? 
Uh, I'll tell you this, that we just recently had a reunion of yeah. Curtains, and everyone said it was one of the greatest experiences they've had in the theater. The yeah. whole process, just working together, it was just a charmed project. Yeah. So, and, uh, and maybe the best part was the first time Candor played through uh, Coffee Chop Nights, which was a song for my character. Yeah. Just played through and sang, and it was like, I can't believe I'm here. And I can't believe I'm here. Do you have a favorite Candor and Ebb song or something that plays in your mind? Because they play in my mind all the time. Ha. Well, of course, I'm partial to all the score of Curtains. Um, so I think I miss the music that, that Candor wrote because it's so deeply felt about the loss of Fred. Uh, but uh, let's see. How about the entire score of Cabaret or the entire score of Chicago, both of which I can sing every word of start to finish anytime? Well... Tanner and Ebb I worked with when I did Kiss of the Spider Woman back in 1994. Right across the street of the Broadway. Right, exactly. And then Stroh, Susan yeah. Stroman, oh, yeah. just worked with her last year in POTUS, and all the gals I know. came to support her. So, um, you know, Broadway is a community. Yeah. We all, I mean, just getting to you at the mic, I ran into five people and we're yeah. talking about when you get it back, get it back on Broadway. What, what, what's the latest thing that we can see you on? We've got some ideas. It's, we're all. We all want to help each other, and we're all in it together, and we love each other. You know, getting to do this show, this sort of this love letter to New York City, yeah. was was a joy. I've done a lot of New York City sets, but I've never tried to do one that was the entire damn city. Yeah. Um, and the challenge of it was incredible. And the show was written in such a way that it showcases a lot of the great locations of New York. Yeah. So figuring out how to present that and then present it in a way that is both sort of the grit of New York but the glamour of New York was, was a great joy. I'm very excited. I'm excited because, first of all, I'm a New Yorker. Yeah. And so I feel like my whole life has sort of been celebrating New York. Yeah. And to be actually doing a show and to be following Mrs. Maisel, yeah. which for five years was a celebration of New York, uh, this sort of feels like a peak moment yeah. for me. Uh, and to be doing it with these great composers and director, it's, it's really fantastic. We set out to write a love letter to New York and to remind everyone, remind the entire world what a glorious city this is. And with that company of actors under Stroh's direction with Candor and Ebb and Lynn and Tommy and Sharon and, and my friend Sonia, we, our hearts burst with pride. I, I, I've been coming to New York, working here for 25 years yeah. and it's always been a place for dreamers. Yeah. And that's what our show is, it's about dreamers hoping and trying to make the best of it yeah. and and that's what this city is and that's what this show is